The House Oversight Committee finds the taxpayers lost over $100 billion to COVID unemployment insurance fraud and says that these payments will likely never be recovered. Joining us now to discuss is Brandon Arnold, the executive vice president of the National Taxpayers Union. Uh, good morning, Brandon. Good morning. Well, now the committee right now is estimating around $100 billion lost from these pandemic uh, programs. The figure, though, could go higher. How much higher are we talking here and why? Yeah, I mean, we're talking about a staggering figure, even if it's just $100 billion. Yeah. But according to the Department of Labor's Inspector General, that number could balloon to $200 billion. So we're really just talking about the tip of the iceberg here. It's a staggering amount of fraud and abuse of the public trust. And kudos to Chairman Comer and the Oversight Committee for beginning the process of uncovering it and retrieving as much as we can. You know, while unemployment fraud is a big component of losses, at least for us taxpayers from these pandemic programs, it's not the only one. In investigation, the Associated Press found that more than 400 billion in federal agency emergency pandemic aid maybe was stolen or wasted, something um, to that effect. What other programs do you think could have been used and abused? Yeah, I mean, we see the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, even government employees use the funds from the Paycheck Protection Program to finance new automobile purchases, luxury handbags. There were reports of employees, government employees, taking these funds and going on trips to Vegas and spending our money at the roulette table because they stole money from the federal government. The Employee Retention Tax Credit, another huge source of fraud and abuse. The Internal Revenue Systems, uh, Internal Revenue Service, which we all know is a, is a mess in many, many ways. They've essentially had to pause claims on the ERTC because it has been such a disaster. And we've seen billions and billions of dollars be paid out of these programs falsely, erroneously, again, abusing public resources. Why is this so hard to get this money back? Well, it's difficult because not all this money is domestic. Some of the examples, like I said, are government employees or people abusing the system here in the United States. But we had sophisticated international programs to defraud the U.S. taxpayer. So in many cases, this money is overseas. People have changed their identities, completely covered up their tracks. And tracking down that money is going to be extraordinarily difficult, if not outright impossible. Let's look to the future here. What could be done to make sure this type of thievery doesn't happen again? Well, transparency is always a great thing in all aspects of government. That'll go a long way to helping us uh, identify fraud even before it happens. The other thing is we need more sophisticated verification systems for make sure people are actually eligible for these programs. There are reports of people just using Internet photos to qualify for to, to satisfy the, uh, the identification requirements for these programs, even using photographs of Barbie dolls to really? qualify for these programs. We paid out some of these claims. It is absolutely ridiculous. We need to tighten the eligibility and verification processes if we're going to have properly functioning programs. All right, Brandon Arnold, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Anne.